Welcome to another another exciting episode of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ryan, your host, and I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at another film. We're going to go back again to 1973 to talk about the next film, High Plains Drifter. High Plains Drifter is a 1973 western starring Clint Eastwood. Eastwood plays a stranger who comes into this town uh, trying to look for three criminals that are on the loose. So he runs across and bunch, bumps across uh, the, this woman who doesn't act, doesn't, I shouldn't say at actor age, but she's like crazy. So he bumps into another guy and just the, he's a stranger, uh, I think, yeah. I'm going to read what the back says because this was kind of confused going into this. He plays a stranger who rides into the San Juan town of Largo. Bullets fly as he battles three ruthless gunmen in a pulse-pounding shoot-em-up. Yeah, these gunmen, uh, there's right in the beginning near, I think, yeah, kind of in the beginning of the film, he's getting whipped by these, uh, these guys. They're, basically, he wants justice and the whole town doesn't do nothing. So... The cast in this includes the likes of, um, well, according to what the back of this DVD says right here, um, it also co-stars Vernon Bloom and Mar Marana Hall is in this. I'm actually watching this off of the Clint Eastwood Western I Icon Collection, which has High Plains Drifter, Joe Kidd, and two mules from Sister, no, for Sister Sarah. But I didn't watch those two. I chose High Plains Drifter. And this movie is a masterpiece. This movie is a ton of fun. Would I call it a masterpiece? Maybe, but I just don't cover much westerns on here. But I was kind of in the mood for a, another 1973 film. So I chose High Plains Drifter to be the film I'm watching tonight. So, basically, this woman who... He, he, there's one scene where he's dragging this woman to a barn, drops in there. Then he's literally taking a bath at the at the barber when he's getting his hair cut. So when he was trying to get a shave, not haircut, but when he was shaving, he found these gunmen that are attacking, so he shoots those guys. Then he goes back to the barber and decides to take the shower. So he, this woman comes crazy, she's like, she totally comes crazy with a gun, and he's trying, he's trying to hold his breath underwater, while under the bathtub, which is under the water, as she's just firing fire, and then another guy's trying to push her away. The three gunmen get out of jail, and now it's seek vengeance. He wants to go after these three men who's in this town. I'll leave enough, um, uh, the one actor who plays, who played the preacher, would later go on to be in the, in the late 70s sitcom, Mork and Mindy as the Executioner. He's in this movie, too. Um, I forget his name. Richard... Is it Richard? Not Richard Blossom. I, I think that's probably his name. Richard something. I'm not really 100% sure. I'm probably butchering that. So this movie is really, really good. I mean, would I say this is a masterpiece? Again, like I said, I'm stretching that far. But it's, but it's damn close. There's much more enjoyable than something like The Sting, which I covered on my channel. Which also came out in 73. But in all in all, I think this movie is a fun western. And I think it's really good. I, I, I don't know what else to say, but I think Sin Dog is good. Eastwood also directed this film, so the directing's always good. Cinematography, writing. It's a, it's a really, 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 really good film. It's one of Eastwood's best westerns. Well, that's a Wednesday. Still, my favorite western that Eastwood made was Pale Rider, and that would come decades in the 1980s. So this one right here is dead close to being the second best western. This would actually be his first western in the directing chair. Then he would go on to make, um, I've, I've, Outlaw Josie Wales, which would be 1976. And decades later with Pale Rider in 85. So Eastwood has in, he would direct his Oscar winning Western, Unforgiven. But yeah, this is a really good, really, really solid film. I had a good time with uh, High Plains Drifter. It can be at times, it can be a bit slow, but definitely a lot of fun. 
Kino Lord will put this out on a 4K for the first time. Um, yeah, with all new bonus features. This DVD only has the trailer, but there's not much on on this. Basically, disc one, which is the High Plains Drifter disc, which also has Joe Kidd, that basically two movies on one disc, and they both have a trailer. Two Meals for Sister Sarah is on the second disc, which is its own disc. I think it has all the bonus features from that. I think I didn't pop the disc in. I don't think I'm going to cover Joe Kidd or Two Meals for Sister Sarah. I don't know if I'm going to cover them on the channel. I plan to. Because, like I said, I want to cover more westerns. But, like I said, really, 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 really good good western. It actually came with the slip, but as you can see, it's part of the franchise collection. I have a few of these franchise collections. This is the slip box that it came out, which basically tells you all that's on there and shows you all the films. It's weird how first these two movies are PG and the other ones are. So, yeah, pretty much about that. So, yeah, I'm going to probably get to the final verdict really quick because I'm running out of juice. So, let's go to the final verdict. Should you see High Plains Drifter? And the answer is yes. This is another solid Eastwood Western. Everything is good. Very, very fun, 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 fun Western. I highly recommend checking this out. If you can get your hands on the set or even the 4K, go right ahead and grab it. So yeah, like I said again, I'm going to call that since I'm not really much in the way of battery left. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is kind of more of a quick little, quick little review. But if you like what you see, go ahead and head to my Twitter page. Like I said, all that's there. You can find me at Ronakanar14. You can find my Twitter page there. So yeah, just head on over there. I have a ton more reviews. So, come back next time. I'm not sure what day I'm going to do the next review. But when I do, I hope you guys are there. So, I'm going to say a good day to everyone. And a goodbye and a good night while you watch this that day or night. And I'll come back next time with another review. I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to be a film from the 70s. I'm going to jump to another decade that I'm going to cover. So, hope you guys can be there. Like I said, I didn't really have much about it. It's just a great film. But yeah, I'm just going to stop right there, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.